as well. The Florida Keys were first to feel the fury of what was then a Category 4 hurricane uh, here in the United States. Now the islands are cut off. The only highway running through the Keys is totally blocked. CNN's Bill Weir is joining us live from Key Largo right now. So what's the situation like there, and what are you hearing about the rest of the Keys, Bill? Well, Wolf, uh, last hour we were in one of the, uh, the richer neighborhoods on Key Largo where most of the homes uh, looked unscathed. You know, a few scattered uh, bits of landscaping, the boats toppled. This is, this is what it's like for the, the lower tax brackets. A, a trailer park here really set in paradise right on the other side of that damaged, destroyed uh, motor home. You can see is the Atlantic Ocean and it washed this way. And it gives you just such a vivid picture of the shattered lives. You can see the markings. We remember this from Katrina and other disasters past. Those are the markings, 9-11-17 at 2:37. They searched that trailer looking for bodies. The zeros indicate no bodies found, thankfully. But these, these little human touches, uh, some anglers uh, visor managed to stay on the throttle handle through the storm as the boat was shoved up this way. And the waves, as they came, across as Irma crested and, and came across they took these scattered bits of, of, of human lives of families and pushed them right up against the uh, overseas highway this is highway one Key West is that way Miami is that way and this looks like the kind of litter you'd see on a beach the way it laps up but I just found something that absolutely broke my heart here it's this lovely Chinese chest and I opened it up and there's a baby book and it's full of family photos a baby book from the 1950s I mean these are these are the kind of memories you know we talk about stuff and insurance replacing all the stuff that was lost in this storm it'll end up costing uh, you know tens of billions of dollars but that's an indication of the humanity at the center of this and right now there's so much concern over lost humanity uh, officially only a couple fatalities so far in the Keys but uh, Facebook has lists of hundreds now of people who are missing and we don't know whether they, they uh, are perished in the storm or, or they're like the rest of us, they just can't get a cell signal. I mean, I'm using a satellite phone here because everything south of here, we're at like mile marker, I believe we're around mile marker 88 or 87 here and everything south of us or 80 miles, it just gets harder and harder. And so you have to physically go find your family member and the roads are impassable. Uh, even the waterways have so much debris in them, it's, it's uh, sort of perilous to navigate through that. There is a dusk to dawn curfew uh, right now. The Navy is sending in the USS Lincoln, the aircraft carrier, naval personnel to help out with humanitarian aid. Uh, but the search and rescue effort right now is, is really weighs most on the minds as people wonder about their loved ones, Wolf, and, and what became of them in Irma. What a heartbreaking uh, development, uh, and that's just one little part of the state. Can only imagine what's going on throughout the state. Bill, we're, we're going to get back to you, but uh, right now I want to show.